Five days ago, precisely Sunday, President Bola Tinubu and ECOWAS leaders met in Abuja, during which sanctions were imposed on Niger government and a seven-day ultimatum handed over to the military junta. Thursday, the chairman of ECOWAS Authority of Heads of States and Government, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, dispatched a delegation to Niger Republic to deliver the position of ECOWAS and mediate in the matter. The delegation, headed by former Nigerian head of state, retired General Abdurrahman Abubakar is expected to head to Miami. Before leaving the presidential villa, he briefed State House correspondent. Well, we have just been given our marching orders to go to Niger and convey the feelings of the our heads of states in the ECOWAS region that they are not happy with what has happened. And they gave them an ultimatum that uh, the coup peace should uh, desist from what they are doing and give back power to an elected president. And uh, again, to make sure that uh, uh, this message is sent uh, loud and clear to them. The former Nigerian head of state is joined in the delegation by the Sultan of Sokoto, Alhaji Abubakar Sa'ad III, and the president of ECOWAS Commission, Umar Ali Tori. President Tinubu also sent a separate delegation led by Ambassador Babagana Kinjibe to engage with the leaders of Libya and Algeria on the Niger crisis. Libya and Algeria are also very important neighbors of Niger. So um, um, my mission is to go there with a message from President Tinubu to, and to brief them on the ECOWAS position. They are not meant to be punitive. They are meant to really encourage the Niger authorities to rethink their position and retrace their steps. President Bola Tinubu charged them to engage all stakeholders robustly with a view to doing whatever it takes to ensure a conclusive and amicable resolution on the situation in Niger for the purpose of African peace. With a mandate to also mediate in the Niger crisis, the delegation heading to Miami would likely not be talking tough as ECOWAS leaders did here in Abuja on Sunday. From the forecourt, Asarok Presidential Villa, Amikaro Atta, ITV News.